Watch it guys, today we're going to be taking a look at how we can remotely manage our data files on our mobile phone via the web browser on our computer. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the Google Play Store and type for AirDroid. Now AirDroid is a free app that you can use to manage your phone data on your computer without any cables or anything like that. So do a search for AirDroid and then go and install it. As you can see, 10 million people are already using this uh, program or application and it's pretty awesome. So we're going to accept all this. I'm going to install this onto our mobile phone. Now this is an Android phone as I said, so what we're going to do is quickly install this. You can see 23 megabytes in size and uh, once that's installed, we're pretty much ready to go. It ain't going to take much time to connect this up. So what we can do here, click on open. And then once the program opens, just going to swipe through these uh, pages here. This just gives you some information about the actual application. Now you can sign up uh, for an account. I'm just going to sign in later because I'm on the same Wi-Fi network, so I don't need to do that. And then once I get to this stage, you've got a few choices for you. So what I'm gonna do here is go into the Android web uh, application here. And you see you've got a couple of other choices, my computer and add a device. So we're gonna click on the top one. And what this is gonna do is give us a couple of options. Now the option we're interested in is option two, connect via IP address. And you can see the IP address is right there. As long as you're on the same uh, Wi-Fi network, you don't need to set up a, an account or anything like that. You don't need to have any uh, cables plugged in. As soon as I've typed that IP address in, it should give me a sound and it should say accept. Once I accept, it now says that I'm connected uh, to my Android web. What I can then do is go over to the computer, I'll show you the other end of it. So you type the IP address into your web browser, push enter, and uh, it will then connect and send a message to your phone to say accept, and that's the message you just see. Now once you've done that, you can see we have full access to our mobile phone via a browser, which is very nicely laid out. Nice GUI interface here. It gives you all the information about your phone and uh, you can access all the content on your phone via this method. It's a really decent app and it's a really easy way to share documents. So as you can see here, you can go into your photos, your videos, you can drop stuff on there if you want to, you can take stuff off, you can uninstall stuff. And it's a really good way to manage your mobile phone without any cables. So I'll take a closer look here. Let me just go into a larger screen and we'll take a closer look at this application in more detail and I'll show you some more stuff that you can actually do with this. So okay, so we're in full screen now and uh, as you can see here, we've got loads of areas we can access on our phone. So if you wanted to control your camera, you can do, you can go into your apps and uninstall apps from here, which is really easy. It's much more easier and quicker to do it this way. So you can get rid of all your old junk apps and also clear up some space. You can even install apps from here if you wish. You can see, go over to app here. You can drop an app in here or an APK file and you can sideload those APK files straight onto your mobile phone, which makes it super easy and manage your data that way. You can see here, new message, make a call, uh, languages, and also you can control all your contacts here and also you can control your camera uh, from this uh, area as well you can actually if you want to do that you can click on the camera and uh, what that happen is we're going to click OK here and you should now see the camera being controlled via a remote connection which is pretty cool so as you can see there we're getting a remote connection from the camera and another thing you can do is manage your files and your apps on, on here. So let me just quickly uh, show you that part. I'm just going to close this off and go into files here. Now the files are something that are built into the phone and you can uh, edit all these and change them if you wish. As you can see here, delete what you don't want. And uh, it gives you full control of your mobile phone. I think it's an excellent little application. So that's basically how you can remotely manage all your data uh, through your web browser using AirDroid. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope you enjoy these videos, guys. If you do, then remember, hit that like button. It really does help. And also hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. And I shall see you in the next video. Thanks again.
Bye for now.